Welcome to the PGC Coffee Festival. And uh, we're so happy to be here for once. We're actually not in a car show. And you can see we're talking about coffee. And uh, on that note, we'd like to introduce to you 10 for Coffee, which is a product of our innovation on overlanding. As you see, there are a couple of things we're very passionate about, including cars, camping, overlanding, and coffee is another thing that we love to do. So, you know, we just love to do it. So we made a special build for this event just to showcase how coffee can be interpreted by overlanding. So uh, let, let me show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so let me introduce to you the Mini Cooper 10 Ford Coffee Rig. Just look at how I'm living. Just look at how I'm living. So what we have here is a Mini Countryman uh, 2011 model and what we've done is basically some basic stuff to make it look like a coffee shop and what we've done is first we put a wrap around it. We have we have actually put a crossbar on this uh, Cooper just in case if you're out there and uh, you want to put an awning or a roof tent or any of your roof boxes, that's actually something you will be able to do in this Mini Cooper. So let's take a quick walk around so you'll be able to see how it looks like. Let's go to the back. Everything outside is just pretty much aesthetic, but where the money is or the uniqueness is right back here. And let me just show you that right now. This is a specialty coffee shop. So again, the claim to fame is what's running the machines, right? So we created a platform here in the back that pulls out from the car and we're able to mount the Lamarzoka machine on top and the Quaymar uh, coffee grinder also with the cups, all the accessories that are needed to run a coffee shop. A couple of things that we put here is the height is still doable for a barista and we've considered the, what do you call it? The height of making coffee. So that's one of the crucial things we took in, into consideration. The next question people ask us all the time on this is how is this run? In this particular case, we're, uh, we're on a commercial scale level. So we're running short power on 220. But if you do come over to Overland Kings and you want a rig that will be running off grid, we do have dual battery solutions that be able to uh, address that need. Even Lamarzoka machines, yes. Now, how many cups it will be able to run might be a different story, but the point is it can be done. So again, the question on how can it, how do we run this will depend on what you want to do and how many cups you want to pull and how much power you're going to drain in a day. So that's all computable. So do head on over if you want that to, to, be, to be rigged out on your car. Moving on, what I like about this is we did a pull-out sink that's going to be useful for them to use. So we have here a po, diba? Dometic uh, water. So on a Adventure Kings drop down, uh, basically a, a foldable pan. So that serves as the water system for this, uh, for this setup. And we put up the drains also. We customize the drains so that nothing's spilling on the floor. Everything drains out to a drain, drain tank. Uh, yes, the drain tanks are outside. But if you do want it mounted inside the car, that's totally doable. Um, we have paired up this Mini Cooper with, of course, our Manly trailer uh, that serves as our Tambayan area. And uh, we are running the latest iCamper Exo Shell 270 here on top, which is saving us today from all that heat. But uh, aside from Jake, who's shooting on the heat, so he's burning up. But I'm totally cool right here and enjoying the view. So with, uh, with that segue, we are here also to launch our latest product. We have came, come up with a product from Overland Kings. This is now available. You know, when we're camping, coffee is quite important and we wanted to make sure that our beans are of top, top, top notch. So we're using Brazil Mogiano as the, as the beans. That sounded legit. So uh, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's the origin of our coffee and it's a mild blend. 10 for Brazil, full body, low acidity, nuts, mild chocolate, and cacao nibs. Oh, the bar. Actually, uh, that's our coffee in Overland Kings ever since. So if you do like our coffee at Overland Kings, it's the beans that we're using. And we're just offering it to you right now so you can, you can also enjoy the same type of coffee we enjoy. Boodle coffee. So, <laughs> so, so actually, we're just bringing home the boodle to your house so that when you use, when you use the coffee, you when you use pre ano na, preset, <laughs> ready to boodle. Be careful if you drink the coffee and then you go to Overland Kings. It might be bad for you, but... <laughs> So we explain a little bit. It's called 10 for coffee because 10 for in radio speak is OK, right? Or copy. And OK stands for Overland Kings. Oh, sneaky. So 10 for coffee is Overland Kings coffee. 
Kopi dus ja sorry. than to ask the experts in themselves. So here with me today is Alex, and uh, he's just quite humble to be honest, but he's actually one of the experts for me uh, in terms of coffee, and he actually taught, oh, no, man, taught, he taught me a lot about also how to run my coffee machine, calibrate, all the stones. Uh, so th these guys are the best. So. Alex is the coffee roaster, resident coffee roaster for Second Mile Coffee. So Alex, why don't you tell them your experience with your first time, you know, being able to do this? Surprisingly, sobrang okay talaga. Kasi nung una, na-imagine ko, kala ko parang hassle, parang makasilan kami dito, ha? parang gano'n. Kasi outdoor, yep. tapos yung setup sa kotse, yep. tapos trailer, gano'n. Nung una, pero nung ngayon, sobrang smooth. Sobrang smooth. Sobrang smooth. Wala. Minsan niya, mas okay pa sa ibang indoor event na na-organize na. Na-organize na. na, 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 na. <laughs> yung flow. The flow is good. Uh, yep. Saka so, yung una naiisip ko, yung baka kulang ng tubig. Hindi, pero lahat kompleto eh. Dito may tank. Diba? Wala. Walang problem. So, what Alex... Alex, would you say na you'll be able to recreate the same quality coffee in this setup? Uh, from the setup you have in your shop. Quality, yes. So, uh, sure, kuha yun. Kayang kuha ko. 100%. 100%. Well, actually, secret oh. naman yung Lamarzo ko kasi nila nandito. Yeah. Lamarzo, oh, Lamarzo ko. <laughs> Pero, like, hindi kulang sa power. Hmm. Hindi kulang sa ano. May sink dito. Well, merong running water. Laking bagay itong running water. Eh, no? oh, diba? yeah. Yun yung mga hindi ko na-imagine sa outdoor talaga. Running na meron water. pala. <laughs> Correct. Yung, yung, yun yung pinaka-importante sa mga event eh. Yeah. Yung focus talaga. Yeah, yeah. Kailangan malinis lahat. Yeah. Alex, okay. for, for the guys who actually... Ano, for, I'm gonna sneak this in. Outdoor coffee. What are siguro two important things to consider if you're gonna make coffee outdoors? Ano yung mga... For, for you? Uh, important things sa outdoor. Well, sa akin, importante Makuha mo almost yung quality ng gusto mo eh. Okay. Doon sa bahay, mas mailabas mo siya talaga outdoor. Yun, okay. Yun is pinaka-importante. Pangalawa, uh, yung practicality tsaka yung paying comfortable. Yung hindi hassle. Right. Like, parang, di ba? Hindi hassle. Guys, quality and comfort. So, I think we can confidently say that, you know, by doing this, that's what we considered. Be able to produce the same quality of coffee whether there you're in a normal coffee shop or you're running it in a mini cooper kuha yung quality comfort lahat ng conveniences that you want which is basically an overlanding style lahat ng lifestyle items lahat to make things comfortable when you're doing your thing so uh, that those are two things right? yes so alex good luck for today and hope we you, uh, we do more and uh, do more collaborations with second mile coffee so yeah. maraming salamat thank you thank we'll you. see you again so guys it is the mini cooper countryman coffee shop rig and as you can see, what we wanted to showcase here is that overlanding or here at Overland Kings, it's not just about camping and roof tents and awnings. Yes, we always like to put that on the cars. But if you have an idea, I don't know, a coffee rig, a, uh, I don't know, a gaming rig, anything that has to do with a customized idea inside a car, we're here to do that for you. As you can see here, Cooper with a coffee shop, done. Message us on the comments if there's any idea you want us to build or anything you want us to build that might sound fun. And let's see if we can make that happen. We want to thank you so much for the support you've given us on our YouTube channel. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. And with that, we're gonna still continue to make videos for you. So stay tuned for our next events, our next adventures. We'll keep making it for you. It's just so much fun doing this. This is again, Joel Pedro from Overland Kings, signing out from BGC with new 10-4 coffee with a Mini Cooper in the back. And we'll see you in the next adventure, guys.